Before his ascension, Jesus told the disciples to remain in Jerusalem until they had received power from on high. So for 10 solid days after the ascension, the disciples are meeting and praying. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our day. In the filling up of the day of Pentecost, that's the literal translation of Acts chapter 2, verse 1. In the filling up of the day of Pentecost, the Spirit came and they were all filled with the Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit caused them to speak forth. Certainly the wind and the fire are visual symbols of how the Lord was going to take the disciples and like a mighty wind push them into the far corners of this world and have a passion in them, a fire in them to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now we can leave this place. Now spread his word. Immediately it leads to a powerful witness where 3,000 persons come to faith that day. As we celebrate Pentecost today, we expect the miracle of Pentecost to be replicated in our lives personally. And the reason for that is that we might be empowered and emboldened to bear witness to Jesus Christ in this world.